Hey, I'm Tristan from Easy Drone, and today we're ditching the carbon fiber frame and we're going to be testing out how a 3D printed frame will work on an FPV drone. Is it durable enough? Does it cause bad flight characteristics? Stick around, we're going to build this and we're going to test it out. So right here I have all the parts I need to build this drone. They're already all pre-wired and assembled, so all I need to do is screw it into this drone frame. So for this actual drone frame, I've printed it out of PETG. It's solid, it's really, really stiff, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how this flies. I think it's going to handle well in the air, but it might be brittle enough so that it will just break on an impact. Alright, this is the first flight of this drone. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so I'm not going to put any music over this so you guys can hear everything because uh, one of the best ways you can actually tell how your drone flies is through the audio. So with those little throttle blips that I was just doing is testing the responsiveness, seeing if that uh, frame was impacting anything, and definitely, yeah right there too, you could uh, definitely tell that the frame was impacting some of the responsiveness of the drone, everything is feeling a little delayed here. Aside from the delayed feeling, you'll see right here, I cut the throttle for a second, and then I catch it again. There's no prop wash since the drone's moving forward faster than it's falling, but the drone bobbled a bit. That's because the frame is just a little bit too flexible. It's not as rigid as a carbon fiber frame, and all those motors are uh, pulling in the arms in slightly different ways, so not as good. In terms of stiffness uh, along just like the level axis of the drone though, it performed quite well. When you're just flying forwards in a straight line, you can't really tell the difference between the 3D printed or the carbon fiber frame. Pulling out of the dive right there, it, it worked pretty well too. As long as you have a very equal amount of force you're distributing with your motors on this frame, it's going to be good. It's not as uh, stiff in all directions as a carbon fiber frame though, which is what we see the most in this flight. Now, 3D printed frames can be flown fast and fun too around uh, little objects like this. Um, yeah, definitely a little risky with the gaps because if you hit something, you, it's a lot more likely to break, but you gotta give it a try. Punching up there again, it felt really nice on the punch out. When you have that uh, equal force just going in one direction, the uh, frame actually works pretty good. Doing the flips though, it, it did not catch itself from the flips, it was a little wobbly and it was just a really bad experience doing these. So here I try a reverse yaw spin and the quick stick movement in combination with the 3D printed frame caused the drone to crash, so not good. So I just got back inside after that crash and the crash like that into fluffy snow, I wouldn't expect anything to break, but on this 3D printed frame, I have two arms broken and the top plate is also cracked. So in terms of durability, I'd rate this frame at zero. I can crash my carbon fiber frames into concrete from that height and they're going to be just fine. In terms of flight characteristics and performance, I'd give it a two. It does not fly that well. It, it works well when you're just cruising with it, but the instant you try to turn and stuff, you get some jitteriness. This frame is not stiff as a carbon fiber frame. It also affects the power of the drone when you uh, have those jitters and that prop wash, so it's not as fun to fly. So does the 3D printed frame work? Yeah, it works. It costs about uh, less than a dollar to print. Would I recommend getting a 3D printed frame? Uh, no, not at all. Just buy a carbon fiber frame. You can get a good carbon fiber frame for like 30 bucks. It's not worth uh, printing one of these. It's a lot of work and you're going to have to print a lot of them. So it's going to be worth it just to get the carbon fiber frame in the long run. But if you're waiting for a carbon fiber frame, if you've just broken yours and you're ordering a new one, this is definitely a fun project. I'm glad I did it. I learned something new. If you want to see more fun drone stuff like building tutorials or blowing lipos up to test lipo bags, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.